Welcome back to the Marunti Suzuki Devil Circuit College Frenzy, the competition that's taking college rivalry to a whole new level. As the remaining eight teams duke it out on their way to the finals. Six laps up for grabs, remember, with the fastest contestant in the final getting to drive home in the all new Marunti Suzuki Swift. Coming up, it's the boys from the south against the unbeaten, the unbroken Devil Slayers from Delhi, Dial Singh. A thrilling battle was in store as two unbeaten athletes, Ashish and Sandesh, faced off. And it was a frantic start as two distinct styles were on display. But the unrestrained Ashish lost a life on the camel back. And Sandesh smoothly took advantage of his opponent's mistake. Ashish bit the dust again and failed to finish for the first time. It was a matter of Sandesh keeping his cool as he went up and over and gave the lead to MCC. 1-0. With Dayal Singh's unbeaten record at stake, Amit had to win. He would have fancied his chances against MCC's weak link, Mathan. Both the participants matched each other stride for stride until Amit overhauled Mathan and raced into the lead. Slicing through the course like a hot knife through butter, his opponent was left far behind as Amit went over the summit and tied the match. With the match tied at 1-1, my money's on him and Shu. Surely Aaron poses no challenge to this beast. So here we go then. It's the top two seeds battling it out in what maybe, just maybe, could be a preview of the final to come. <coughs> Dial Singh, the only unbeaten college in the course of the college frenzy so far. Perfect six from six. And a big part of that has been this superstar on the far side, as you look at the screen there, Himanshu Rana, as he takes Alan Pandian. Some high-class athletes on display in this quarter-final matchup, Sananda. Absolutely. Now, they all think definitely has been the top talk from the very beginning of this competition, doing very, very marvellously. All the three boys, Himanshu Rana, Ashish Chaudhary and Amit Trivi, uh, Tivari, performing pretty well. But it seems my new favourite college team is actually Madras Christian College with Arun, uh, Arun Pandian, uh, with Arun Pandian and uh, Sandeep Rai doing pretty, pretty well there. Already the lead has ebbed and flowed, switched up several times as Alan Pandian is clearly trying to up his game. He knows in an opponent in Himanshu Rana, he has a serious, serious competitor against him. Look at that, they're both over the slanted wall, almost as one, but there's a slip. Himanshu Rana maybe with a crucial slip, costing him valuable seconds as Alan Pandian is straight on to the push your limits. Himanshu Rana is trying to catch him up and catch him up, he is doing. They're almost going to be off, push your limits as one and onto the angle run now. We've already seen under pressure, athletes make slips at the angle run. Oh, he just about navigated it safely. Up and over he goes. Is this going to be Aaron Pandian? See, Imanji Radim is trying to catch him. It's going to be Aaron Pandian in an absolute shocker. Imanji Radim is beaten for the first time in this season's college frenzy. How did it feel beating the unbeatable Imanji Rana? Oh. He's the one giving tough competition for everyone. But I don't feel like I'm going to win. It's me, I'm coming, it's me. This is your first loss ever. Like, I'm very sad. How do you feel? Ma'am, I had a knee problem in the last match. I was just starting to get a little bit slow. But there was no speed in the middle. I had to go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So I didn't do it. 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 Let's take a rush, finally. Let's go ahead and then we're not going to go back to 2 seconds. We're not going to go back to 2 seconds. 2 ma'am, 20 seconds. Wow, what a match. The you match bet. of the competition so far. The Dial Singh College boys, they're down there. They cannot believe what's just happened to them. They've been served up with their first defeat of the competition and kudos and well done to the boys of the Madras Christian College. The question now, of course, is have Dial Singh finally met their match or is that just a blip on their relentless march to the crown? It's all a game of numbers from now on. Every match lost, obstacle unbeaten, could be the last nail in the coffin for every team. So Dial Singh go up against TMG next. It's the ideal time for TMG to strike. The thunder from down under, all the way from the southwest coast, come the boys of Tunjan Memorial Government College, or to put it simply, TMG College. 
individually they may merely be above average, but together they've blown their competition out of the water. With Unai K. Cambrath leading the way, with Sharaf Ali PK and Abu Bakar Sadiqe backing them up, they have strength and they have unity. Himanshu looked to bounce back after a disappointing defeat. He was still the favourite against Sharaf Ali, but his aura of invincibility was gone. And Himanshu seemed to be making up for lost time as he blitzed through the camelback. His speed and ferocity were on full display and it seemed we were back to business as usual. He didn't stop even once as he took the summit and the heat for Dayal Singh, even setting a course record. And the strongest player in the tournament, Himanshu, is back on track by winning this race in 1 minute 21 seconds. Earlier, his timing was 1 minute 28 seconds. Now, two seconds were behind. Now, how did he win? I put my whole power in my whole mind. And this time, it was a little easy. I played with a cool mind and played with a whole strength. And maybe I'll tell you that I'll give you my time next time. So, ma'am, I'll show you. If anyone from TMG can match Dayal Singh, it has to be Onayas as he faces off against Ashish Chaudhary. Five, four, three, two, one. Onayas, fresh off a victory, will of course uh, be very, very happy to defeat Ashish Chaudhary. But Dayal Singh, to maintain the lead this time, will have to clearly have Ashish Chaudhary comfortably complete the course. And this is an important run for Dial Singh because they need Ashish Chaudhary to win because up next is Amit Tuari and Abu Bakr. And Abu Bakr beat Amit Tuari. Abu Bakr of TMG beat Dial Singh's Amit Tuari when they met in the qualifier. So if they were to lose a surprise heat here, oh, Dial Singh could be out, but that's a haste, slip. Abu Bakr will have to possibly wait to cause a shock because you know Kay Cambrath, such was his eagerness to keep pace with Ashish Chaudhary. He makes the mistake and now he's lost a bit of momentum, but in truth, even though he lost that life, it was best he lost it early. And look how close, well, my word, I thought his feet might have even touched there, Ashes Charger. I'd like to see the replay of that. It's not my opinion that matters, though. It's what the official and the umpires on call say, and they give Ashes Charger the green light to continue to push your limits. Well, pushing his limits, he certainly is. After that crushing defeat, the shocker of a defeat which came last time around, he definitely is in absolutely no mind to not finish this race. Eunice K. Cambrath is just about hanging in there. He won't be able to make a mistake on the angle run. Will Ashes Chowdhury, and he doesn't. Well, this is going to be the game to... Oh, my word, he's already missed one. He's been blown back. And now, a chance from nowhere for Eunice K. Cambrath to steal it. They're both up the summit at the same time. Oh, no! Eunice K. Cambrath tumbled in his first attempt under the pressure, and Ashes Chowdhury makes it at the second try. Dial Singh, take the heat. Yes, Ashish is back on track from Dayal Singh. So, how do you feel now? What was the difference in the last time when you won? It was very good for me. First, I had a little bit of a balance. That's why I had a little bit of a balance. Now I'm in control. It's good. With the match secure, Amit was free to race without pressure. But knowing Dayal Singh, he would be relentless. Revenge in the air for Amit. And that's exactly what he was as he took the lead early on through the sea of poles and the rest of the course. As Abu Bakr lost a life far behind, Amit was gearing up for the summit. He couldn't clear it on the first go but made no mistakes second time around. A clean sweep for Dayal Singh. Right now with me, the three most amazing athletes in the tournament. 1 minute 21 seconds, 1 minute 36 seconds and 1 minute 43 seconds. Sort of itna sa celebration time diya baaki team players ko. Now they have stolen the panda. So aage ja ke batao itna hi consistency mein kya karna wale ho? Same karenge abhi tak jaise karke aaye hain aur saath ke saath sir hamare advise karte rehte hain piche se hamare coach sir jo aaj aaye hain saath mein family aayi aur same strategy same yahi rahegi jo abhi tak chalti aayi hai coordination bhi rahega. Cool mind ho ke khelna hai. So we questioned them, we doubted them, but the boys of Dial Singh College answered all their critics in the best way possible by getting straight back onto the winning trail. And that's why they remain the favourites for this season of the Devil Circuit College Frenzy. What a comeback yes. and an unfortunate defeat for the poor chaps of TMG. Dial 
Carl Singh get 10 points on the board with their lower time giving them an advantage over MCC, who ended up losing their match against Gotham Bodge University, who are reigning at the top. Up next, TMG College versus Madras Christian College, the battle of the South in a battle for the semi-finals. Arun's been on a roll lately. Surely he would have won against Sharaf Ali. But it was another close race and surprisingly, Sharaf Ali took the lead when Arun dropped out. However, it was slow going from Sharaf Ali which gave Arun a chance to catch up. After that, no mistakes from Arun, unlike Sharaf Ali who took a misstep on the angle run leaving his opponent in the clear as he took the first match for MCC. So with TMG badly in arrears, Unai simply has to deliver. But he's facing an uphill battle against Sandish. Five, four, three, two, one. Sandish Roy on the far side for MCC. Near side, TMG, Unes K. Cambrath, who has got a finish, Sananda, on the course today, but nowhere near the kind of times that Sandish Roy has been posting. Come on, come on. Lots of energy, lots of zest coming from these boys. Both these boys trying their best to finish the course. And of course, Sunday Shrai would love the fact that if he can have a perfect nine score. But at the moment, look, things looking much better for Unis. Yeah, Unis K. Kimbrai, I think he knows this is his last chance of glory. Whatever happens in this match, TMG Tour or Calicut will be going home and they go home with their heads held high. After a really good showing in the group stages, they made the quarterfinals. It's just been not going their way today. And now wow. Sandish Rai <laughs> turns on the turbo. All the way through the sea of poles, up and over the slanted wall. And what answers has Eunice K. Kambrath got to this? At the moment, doesn't look like he's got very many. Sandish Rai is halfway through push your limits. Just the angle running the summit to go. Will he make it a perfect nine from nine completions and sew up the game for MCC with one heat to spare? You better believe it. Sandesh Rai gets to the summit. I can't wait to see this time. It's an absolute rip snorter of a time. And Sandesh Rai takes the heat. You might as well hang a star on him because he's absolutely star material. Nine on nine. You're doing things for Madras Christian College, aren't you? Yeah, I feel so great uh, representing my college. It's a really big event as well. And I can see people make me push. So people please encouraging me so you can see me doing the best timing and taking the car away to home. Absolutely, absolutely. With the match secured for MCC, would the lack of pressure inspire Mathan to complete the course? Mathan took the early lead and slowly built it up, but Abu Bakr wasn't lagging that far behind. By the time Mathan got to push your limits, his breath was coming in ragged. But he didn't let that stop him. With a war cry, he took the angle run and the summit, completing the course for the first time. And a clean sweep goes to MCC. What a barnstormer that was. Madras Christian College sending a message out to the rest of the field. Sananda, <laughs> have we just witnessed the establishment of new favourites for the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit College frenzy? After MCC's dominating performance and a win for Dial Singh in their match against Gautam Bod, these two top teams, as expected, are making their way to the semi-finals. One group, four matches down, lots of energy and skill and display here. Pat, I wonder where do they get all their energy from? Well, it's impressive, Sinan, there isn't it? I don't think there's any secret formula here. You are blessed to be witnessing the fittest students across the whole of India, the hours and hours in the gym, the months and months of preparation they've put in is bearing fruit on that intimidating 150-metre college frenzy course. Great action coming up after the break. And remember, a defeat from here on in could be the end of that six-lap dream.